All right. Today we are discussing about three major types. There are three major types. Number one is series connection. Number two, parallel connections. Parallel connections. Number three, series to parallel connections. Number three involve the series and parallel connections. Depends on what you design that will come out of it. Now we are looking at a series connection. We are looking at series connection. This is what we are looking at this today. And in this series connection, there are some things we put into consideration on the series connection. So we are now looking at the series connection. Now, series connection is the types of connection. Series connection is a type of connection that runs from end to end of its terminals, where the positive terminals of one panel is connected to the negative terminal of the other one, of the second panel. And this setup increases the voltage of the system while keeping the current the same as the panel increases. The voltage increases, but the current remains the same. And that is why we are looking at it. As you look at it, this is the explanation. This is the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal of the first panel. This is a positive terminal and negative terminal of the second panel. Positive terminal and negative terminal of the third. And the positive terminal and negative terminal of the fourth panel. Now, at this time, this is the panel that is on the roof. Now, having gotten this, look at it from this negative now, negative terminal. It comes straight to the positive terminal. That is what the diagram explained. This 24 volts panel and 8 amps. 24 volts, 8 amps. 24 volts, 8 amps. 24 volts, 8 amps. As you take this one to this, from here now to this point, you have increased it to 48 volts. As you take this negative to this positive again, you have, in, you have added another 24 to the 48. You have 72 volts. As you put the remove this one and bring it here again, you have added another 24, making it 96 volts. And that is how we got to this 96 volts. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Now, the, from the explanation, the arms remain the same. The arms is not increasing. And that is the point that I, I want to draw your attention to it. Because most of the solar install installations, you apply series connection, you apply parallel connection for you to achieve your targeted goals. Do you understand? That is why these connections are very, very important for you to understand it. So this is how the series connection is being made. This is series connection in a solar system. The a series connection is a type of connection that runs from end to end of its terminals, where the positive terminals of one panel connect to the negative terminals of the next one. This setup increases the total voltage of the system while keeping the current the same. That is to say, as we are connecting it in series, the voltage is increasing and the arms remain the same. And that is why we are looking at it. Like, there are some things you put into consideration. Number one, voltage increases. In a series connection, the voltage of each panel adds up to the next one. Example one is what we have done so far. That we have four pieces of solar panel, 24 volts, 8 amps. And we connected them in series. And as we connected them in series, 
you realize that the voltage is adding up. The voltage is adding up. That is a practical aspect of it. That is to tell you that the moment you are adding them in series, the voltage is increasing while the amps is remain the same. Why the amps remains the same. Now we are looking at some situations whereby you should be able to use this series connection. Number one, when we need a high voltage, like for example, you are using a high voltage panel and you need a hybrid, you are installing hybrid inverter, hybrid solar system. You need a high voltage that sometimes the voltage is not into kilowatts. Now, in, in that situation that you need that high voltage, you need more of series connections to achieve the high voltage you want. And number two, when you have a charge controller or inverter that requires a specific voltage, like the one we have just done now, that gives us 96 volts. If your charge controller requires 96 volts, you, you, you loop them in series, connect them in series, then it gives you 96 volts. Do you understand? Now, we move forward. Because most of the times, there are some things that we put into consideration. Number one, the current, remember that as you are looping it, as you are connecting it in series, the, the, the current remains the same. And the current is the strength that it charges the battery. So in the daytime, you see that you have light, but in the night, what of in the night, when you are expected to use the battery, and that is why you bring in the parallel connection that will, that will sum up the total arms, the total current that will be able to charge the battery for you. Now, we are looking at what? We are looking at the disadvantages of uh, series connection. Remember that in this series connection, if one, let me go back to the drawing so that it will be clear for you. If one, like for example now, if this one is called is shaded, that means when there is sunny, this particular panel will be dormant, it will not work because of shading. Join us as we continue in the next class. Thanks.